What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna go over the secret mechanic to defeating bosses and world bosses in Diablo 4, and that is Stagger. So let's get right into it. So if you guys do not know what Stagger is, it's a new mechanic that was introduced by the devs over the server slam weekend it stagger is a new mechanic that was brought to us because they wanted us to be able to have something um against big monsters as well as world bosses so you may ask yourself well what is stagger stagger is a crowd control mechanic so if you guys don't know inside of diablo 4 world bosses as well as big bosses that you're going to fight along in dungeons during the main story things like that cannot be crowd controlled so all of your chills your stuns your freezing all this stuff does not work on these bosses so but the devs did want us to be able to have some kind of crowd control aspect when it comes to fighting them because all of our abilities you know there's a lot of them that are based off of crowd control and having these effects trigger so we can do a lot of damage or trigger something else to give us fortify etc so I really do like what the devs did here. I think it's a very, very unique mechanic. So let's go over the details of it. So how to trigger stagger. So when I first like understood and kind of found out about stagger, I really just thought it was you just fight, you just hit the monster, hit the monster, and you're gonna be able to fill the stagger bar up as you continue to hit. As you can see here, the stagger bar is the yellow goldish line underneath the monster or boss's health. And then once that fills up, they become staggered. But what I found out is the only way to trigger this is by using a crowd control effect or skill against the boss or a world boss. So the more crowd control skills that you and your team use, the faster that that bar fills up. And then that's when you stagger them. As you can see, we're about to stagger a Shava right here in our fight with the Druid. So we're using crowd control effects and then you're going to see the bar fill up. Now, when you stagger a monster, that blue bar starts to go down and it renders the boss or world boss immobilized for 12 seconds. 12 seconds may not seem like a long time to you, but it is an absolute, you know, just super, super long time when it comes to fighting bosses, world bosses inside of Diablo 4, because we know how hard the game can be. This is going to be a huge benefacting uh, skill mechanic that's going to happen and just really benefit us late in the game, okay? Because bosses are going to get harder. We're going to be playing on world tiers uh, that makes our difficulty stronger and it's going to make the monsters fight even smarter. So being able to stagger them is going to be very, very important whether you're playing solo or group play. Now, why is stagger so strong? Stagger is so strong because if you're able to render a boss immobilized for 12 seconds, you're able to inflict massive amounts of damage okay this is very very prevalent inside of group play which just makes it even easier to um stagger an enemy now a quick bonus tip here is i know we went over how to stagger a boss now there is going to be really cool things and builds i think people are going to make specifically for world bosses or boss fights that you can kind of respect to which would be good for using uh or getting stagger i should say but you're going to be using just crowd control effects so what you do is you just respec you stack your character full of staggering skills or crowd control skills to fill up that bar really quick so to show you how powerful this can be big shout out to woody i'm gonna pull up a clip right now for him big shout out to him i'll link his channel down in the description below but you can see that he's maxing out his crowd control effects on his rogue and you're about to see how powerful and how fast that that bar fills up now, another reason why this bar is absolutely insane is what you can see with the boss is it, it renders them immobilized. It's basically a free boss fight and that boss can't do anything against the rogue. He gets to hit, do a few attacks, he gets immobilized and knocked down, he gets back up, he's immobilized and just dies. So you can see that the build of, of you know, around uh, stun effects or crowd control effects just makes staggering even easier. I think it's a very, very unique mechanic brought in by the devs to help us not necessarily like give us a full you know cheat card to fighting bosses and world bosses but i think it just helps balance it because they can't be crowd controlled and in diablo 4 with the game being much slower than diablo 3 crowd control effects are very prevalent in this game so i think this is a really cool mechanic to help balance this out so let me know what you guys think about the video down in the comments below let me know if you guys really like stagger and if you guys got to experience stagger uh during your server slam beta weekend like the video if you guys have enjoyed it uh and don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new and as always stay gaming i'll catch you guys in the next one peace